Good day. Uh, I'm here once again. My name is Engineer Zoko Felix, and uh, we are here to continue our lectures on basic PLC. Today, our topic will be on looking at different, uh, different OEM, that is original equipment manufacturers. Manufacturers of PLC. You will recall that in when we are dealing with the PLC hardware in the previous video, we look, we said that the PLC is composed of the hardware and what the software. Just like a computer, like you know, is, com is composed of the hardware and the software. And in the hardware, we mentioned that hardware is everything you can touch by the PLC, on the PLC, just like the same thing you could touch on the computer constitutes the hardware. Whereas the software are mostly um, embedded in the uh, system. Today, we are going to be looking at the software aspects of the PLC, the softwares that run different kinds of PLCs. We had mentioned earlier some of them, which include the Siemens, one of the major players of PLC in the market that is running most of the uh, 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 machines in the world is the Siemens. It's a very popular brand. There is Siemens PLC, followed by the Allen Bradley PLC. Okay, this is Europe, and this is America PLC. Then some of the uh, Asia ones, we have um, uh, Mr. Bushi, Mitsubishi PLC. We have Toshiba, we have Franuk, and so many other types. So we are going to be dwelling on these three PLCs. Okay, and the software that runs the PLC. Starting from the Siemens PLC, the Siemens PLC uh, have different uh, brands. Like I, I, I rightly mentioned, and mentioned some of them are the S7. Take it one after, one after the other. We have the S7200 PLC. Okay, and then we have the S7300, hope you record this, F7400, F7, S7, uh, 1200, and S7-1500. These are different types of PLC. Now, what kind of software do they make use of? They make use of the Semantic Manager. And this S7 means step seven. In case you come across it, this is step seven. And this step seven means Siemens, the full meaning, Siemens Technical, technical Education Program. That's what step means. And the word semantic means Siemens Automatic. So that's the name of the acronym. Of the ac Siemens Automatic, the meaning of the acronym, Semantic. So we say the Semantic Manager. So you have the Siemens Automatic Step 7. These are the ranges that uh, was produced to, you, uh, to run the, um, to run the, uh, their, their, their products. So we have the step, step 7, 200, step 7, 300. And I think the step 7, 300 ends at S7, 400. Okay, it ends at the S7, 400. So above S7, 400, uh, there are different types of uh, programming software that are utilized for this. Okay, so for the step 7, 200, the program, or rather the software is known as uh, Micro 
WIM. Okay, that's the name of the software that's used for all S7200 series. And we also have the uh, MicroWIN Smarts. We also have the MicroWIN Smarts. So this also runs for S7200 uh, series PLC. Now for the S7300 PLC, we have the Sematic Manager, okay? The Sematic Manager. This is used to program the S7200 and part of the early S7400 series of PLCs, okay? So this also runs on Sematic World, Sematic Manager. Now above uh, 400, we now go into uh, the later versions of 400, 1200, and 1500. These are different uh, types of PLCs. These are known, or the, or the software is known as well, the TIA portal. This is the software that is running part of uh, 400, 200, and some of even S7200. This is known as total TIA is total uh, integrated automation. As a full meaning of TIA, total integrated automation. So this is the TIA portal. So for if you have a Siemens in your factory that is running on S7200, 1500, or from S7400 and above, you are likely to make use of the TIA portal, okay? That's the total integration automation, okay? So this is the advanced software that is currently being used by Siemens PLC. It's part of one of the latest uh, software running the PLC version. Now, we look at uh, Allen Bradley, which is the second most popularly uh, known for PLC, PLCs. Under the Allen Bradley uh, pockets or jackets, they have other types of PLCs to their name. We have um, Micrologics. This is basically um, one of the earliest PLCs. We have, like I said, we have the Compact Logics. These are different types of PLC as produced by Allen Bradley. There are types, this is what they call it. They have the flex logics. Okay. They have the guard logics. Um, what else again? They have the compact guard logics. Okay. They have the compact guard logics, okay? Now, the, the, the software that runs this is known as the RS Logics 500. We have the RS Logics 500. We have the RS Logics 5000, okay? These are the kinds of software that runs these various types of Allen Bradley software. Okay, so we also have uh, um, the we have also have the control logics. Okay, the control logics. This is one of the I've shown you. you I've shown you one of the, this this uh, picture of the control logics. It's one of the latest versions of the Allen Bradley uh, PLCs. Okay. The RS Logics five thousand. Um, is no longer being uh, utilized. The name has changed. It is now called the Studio 5000 Logics Designer. 5000 Logics Designer. So that's what it's called. So formerly it was called RS Logics 5000. Now it is called the Studio 5000 Logics Designer. So this is what is being used to program this PLC. Now, the, for the SLC 500, we, the one I we showed you in the previous video, 
you use, you program with the RS Logix 500. Okay, so this is um, the okay, the SLC 500. That's SLC 500, the one I just showed you. So that is programmed with the RS Logix 500. This is address based, so you call up the address. So when we we'll go into addressing PLCs, we'll talk more about how you can address these kinds of uh, PLC. An older version of the PLC, the very first is another one we we'll call the PLC 5. Okay, the PLC 5 is programmed with the word RS Logix 5. So this is the uh, program, it's another one that is address based. Okay, then the, for the control logix, you, you use the Studio 5000, Studio 5000 Logix Designer. That is the software used to program the control logics. You can you also use that to program the guard logics. So let's call it S5LD, just to make it short. The Studio 5000 Logix Designer. That is the compact, the guard logics. What of the compact logics is the same thing? Use the Studio 5 Logic Designer. And then the micro logics is utilize the RS logics 5000. What of the compact logics? The compact logics also makes use of Studio 5 logics designer. So most of the recent versions, okay, starting from the flex logics, compact logics, control logics, all makes use of the recent release software. So apart from the SLC 500, which, is pro, which can be programmed by RS Logics 500 and the PLC, these, by the way, makes use of tag and address method. By tagging means that when you, when you address a terminal or you address uh, a, a, a point, or let me say a terminal in the PLC, you can tag it. By tagging means that you can write a short note on it. So when we go into writing of programs, I'll show you more on what tagging means. But tagging notes means writing a short note near the uh, terminal, near the address which you are programming. So if you are programming, for example, a start button, to on a pump, so you could just have a small note there, and then you say uh, start button, you know, something like that. So while you are looking at a particular address like this, not just staring at this connotation, you know that this address is referring to the start button. So these newer versions have the ability to tag and uh, address it as, as well. So um, other types of PLCs, which are not too popular, you can have the Modicon, you make use of the uh, Modsoft PLCs. You have the GFranook uh, Series 6, you make use of the uh, Logic Master 6. You also have the Square D, you make use of uh, PowerLogic software. We have the Telemechanic, which uh, makes use of the Modicon TSX. Uh, micro. So these are some of the other PLCs that may not be popular that just give you some of their software which you can actually have a look. So having said this, uh, this will mark the end of our different OEM uh, software for different PLCs. Until next time we meet, we go into an introduction to PLC programming language. Then we'll see how we can actually, you know, make, write an address or program uh, a, a, a syntax. So thank you to see you next time.